Hi guys, today I was working on decorating my beach journal and I came across some ephemera that I was going to use and it says, this one says, may you always have a seashell in your pocket and sand between your toes. And then I had an idea. What if I get a piece of the sheet protector that I made the bows with in, in um, recent videos and put it down here with some shells and sand, right? I thought that that would be kind of cute. So let's try that today and see how it comes out. So I'll cut a piece of this. Let's see. This looks about good. Yeah, that looks about good. All right, so let's fill it with some sand and shells. First, I have to close close a couple of ends before I do that. You can't probably see it that well on this white card, but I'm just gonna close up the ends. I'm going to double check look this part because this, I notice there's a part that's not, it's like it dragged. Instead of making the little dots, it dragged a little bit, but it seems okay. It seems okay. Sometimes it opens up in a little spot and you have to watch out for that. Hope I'm in frame. Go a little, a little more above here. Okay. Try to close this. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's add some sand and some shells. I always have sand available. Children's play sand. Because I have a couple of Daegu's at home. And uh, they're basically little tiny chinchillas, if I had to describe them. And uh, they like to play in the sand. I have a little sandbox for them in their enclosure that they like to, to clean themselves in. So I always have sand readily available. Put, I'm going to put a bit more in here, although I'm making a mess. That seems okay. Now for the shells, I'm going to get probably the smallest ones I can get here. I've had this mix forever. Let's see, I, I have some blue in that fabric, so I think I'm gonna take a couple of little ones of these and a couple of little blue ones. Because I don't wanna make it too thick either in the journals when you have this page, you know, that's really bulky. Try to make make it as flat as I can. So maybe we'll add another little shell. We'll see how it looks. Three of each. All right, let's put those in here. All right, so it's gonna kind of look something like this. I think that's just enough. So let's close it up. Try 
try to get it even. Looks okay. I'll cut off the excess. All right, now if I attach it to this, I think I'm going to attach some fabric to it because that way I can put some hot glue in and attach the fabric to the hot glue because if I put hot glue right on this, it's going to melt it and that's not going to be any good. And now that I see it like this, I should also take some off of it, some length off of it. Now I'm wondering if I have too much sand in there. Well, let me just take a little bit off and see how we do. And I see some sand came out right in that spot that I was telling you. All right. I got to redo this. Let me take some sand out. Maybe it's a good thing this happened. Maybe it's just a little bit too much sand too. I'm going to take some sand out. All right. And I'm going to reclose this. Sorry, I'm not in frame. I'm going to reclose this bag. Okay. And then I think we need to cut a little bit more off the top. So I will do that. Okay, I think that will fit a little bit better. Okay. Now, I think I'll get a little bit of fabric just just to go over it like that, just to seal it so that I'll have somewhere to stick my hot glue. Just the smallest piece. So let me cut this. Okay, I'll get this out of the way. That looks like that's going to work, so I will glue the top of this. Let's put that piece of fabric on there. Trim the edge. Okay, so you can see the shells and the sand and it matches the fabric. The blue shells pick up the blue in the fabric. All right, and then we'll put it on here with a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to put that just on the fabric. OK, 
Okay, so let's stick this on here. And let's distress the edges a bit. And there we have it. All done. I think that came adorable. And it's certainly not anything I've seen before. It's hard to do videos. A lot of times everyone has the same ideas. And it's just repetitive videos over and over again. So I like to do things different. If I can make something that no one else really has made. You know, it, I like that because it can get a little bit, you know, mundane. -y. But... That's the finished project. I'm happy with it. I like it how it came out. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Happy crafting. Bye.